hey guys i'm running at cameron online school of forex so guys hit this red subscribe button so that each time i upload the video you're gonna get it so let's continue with trends and patterns patterns that i have decided to to teach you guys today if you're just coming online please hit that red subscribe button so that each time i post a video you're gonna get the the notification so we are starting with ascending uh, triangle with the ascending triangle you discover that this is an uptrend the market is moving upward what you need to know is that uh, you need the resistance and support so actually when uh, the market uh, is at support it moves up to a particular uh, resistance don't bother allow it to drop once it drops and reach the, the support then you link these two points and draw a straight line upward <clears throat> so right now we have done that and the market has gone again right and touched the resistance so we link these two points now waiting for a breakout uh, towards the, the upward uh, direction or a breakout towards the downward direction you discover that this candlestick has formed below this support and the market keeps selling so here we say that the the triangle has been broken and there is a bearish reversal pattern look at how it's going down so guys let's move to the next pattern which uh, we call it an inverse head and shoulder meaning that here we are talking of a bullish pattern bullish reversal so look at the downtrend how the market is going down it goes down then it forms the the shoulder the the, the left shoulder so on the left shoulder it goes to our our medium uh, medium uh, 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 resistance from here it goes down back to to form a head Note that a head is always uh, right uh, taller than the, the shoulders. These are the shoulders, these are the two shoulders form. And now we need just a confirmation of the pattern. Well, actually, if this uh, candlestick, if it breaks this uh, resistance line, resistance line, know that the market will be bullish. So that's how a reverse, uh, inverse head and shoulder works. So these are patterns and you need to learn them very well so as you succeed in foreign exchange trading as we move to a uh, right uh, descending triangle descending triangle tells us here that the market is going down it goes down it dips deeply and forms the support reach at the support so actually it pulls back then finally started going down gently and touched that same point again descending channels touches the same point this is the point here again so uh, the only difference was that uh, our resistance here was broken and the market went up made some slight retracement and pushed to the top so it depends on you to look for your tp1 as we move to the next candlestick we call it the double bottom so at the double bottom is just some sort of uh, w so the market started falling this is the downtrend it comes here rejection the market goes up here there is slight consolidation but it doesn't break this uh, resistance line then it goes back to the second reje rejection and going up dangling moving up and finally it breaks our resistance and once our resistance is broken you need to think of this point it's the first tp according to me i would take at least 40 to 50 pips it depends on the the currency pair if this go i take 100 pips so finally the market pushes up as we go to the next one which is the double top when you hear of the double top think of an m so it's some sort of an m let me just point it with my cursor this is it so as the market is moving up it goes up directly and it's being rejected at point one so it goes down it started going down then uh, retraces back to rejection to point two which is second rejection so what you need to know here if the, it breaks this res, uh, resistant line the market pushes up it keeps buying so now it is going down finally trying to form what happened here that's you are reading previous charts according to psychology of many traders the market goes down breaks and it keeps selling so uh, now uh, let's work ourselves down to falling wedge falling wedge uh, simply describes the downward movement of the market but showing us a bullish reversal pattern so falling wage it forms our first uh, support here goes back to 
of resistance then so second support we link the two points these are the two points you just link them going down so on going down you discover that uh, the, it was broken here then a break of the wedge causing a bullish trend reversal this is how the market is pushing itself up so uh, guys, hit the red subscribe button guys so as we continue which is here on the falling wedge it uh, as it moves up it breaks this uh, uh, resistance and the market goes up once the market goes up it must retrace a bit before uh, pushing up so if you have uh, your verse with the uh, with Elliott waves you quite understand what I mean so let's next let's next ourselves to the next uh, pattern which we call the head and shoulders so head and shoulder shows us a bearish reversal pattern look at our uptrend market the market is moving up everybody's buying so actually it reaches uh, some sort of uh, the first shoulder which is the left shoulder consider our head and then the two arms so that's how uh, this market uh, points at so look at the head this uh, this the, the shoulder the first shoulder the right shoulder this the head so uh, once it shows us this uh, type of movement we are very vigilant so we are just waiting for any direction to be broken so once it is broken here, we keep selling because minor retracement, which is down, minor retracement goes down. Even here, you notice that the buying candles are very tiny. So the tinier the, the, the buying candles, no possibility of moving upward. So only long candles, sell candles, it keep going down. So uh, guys, let's try to find out what is happening with uh, a rising wage so this is a rising wedge and one of the last patterns that uh, we are going to do today so a rising wedge means that uh, a bearish reversal is coming anything rising is about telling us that the stuff is going to fall so this is it you first make sure you have your resistance once your resistance is formed you check on support then the second resistance is a big uh, a big uh, a statement to tell us that something is happening so you link this point and this point and draw it across then you also link this point and cut it across so once it comes here and rejects know that the movement is going up so just be waiting for this uh, point if it breaks this point the market keeps going up and we draw another uh, channel moving upward but now that the market came and instead this candlestick break this uh, support line it started going down look at it going down look at it going down so uh, this is what i have for you today concerning uh, trends and patterns and please if you're online please just hit that red subscribe button so that each time i upload a video you're going to get the signal so i am ronnie cameron online school of forex you at home ask any question below because i'm ready to answer you thanks